uh, what happens when a beloved franchise faces an uncertain future. The story of Confess Fletch serves as a poignant example, leaving fans wondering if they'll ever see their favorite Hellbull, the trucky character, and courting with his evangelist. And it was on the front, the second champion, every air he had a truck. Uh, John Hamm stepped into the iconic shoes of Fletch, a role once made famous by Chevy Chase. The excitement was palpable, uh, but the sequel's box office performance fell flat, generating less than a million dollars against a hefty $20 million production budget. Compounding the disappointment, the film's quick digital release may have undercut its chances to thrive in theaters. The director, Greg Matola had high hopes for the franchise, an unexpected twist he recently shared, but attempts for a sequel were halted by the new leadership at Florida, Miramax, who rejected his proposal despite the film's critical acclaim, boasting an impressive 86% on Rotten Tomatoes. Florida uh, Matola poured his heart into this project, inspired by Gregory McDonald's beloved novels, and uh, she and him and the man to revitalize Fletch fostering excitement for a future where more stories would unfold on screen. They even crafted a follow-up script titled Fletch's Fortune. However, a sudden change in Miramax's structure left them wandering in uncertainty. Reflecting on the journey, Matola expressed the harsh realities of Hollywood. Rejection is commonplace. The perseverance is crucial. Even when faced with setbacks, his determination remained, urging him to keep pushing forward despite the odds. While Matol focuses on other projects, such as season two of Peacemaker, hopes for Fletch's return linger in the air. Ham's optimism about resurrecting the character has dimmed, but there's still a glimmer of hope as he contemplates the potential for future tales. Uh, please take a moment to subscribe to our channel and hit that like button if you enjoyed this update. As fans ponder the future, they might as well revisit the classic Chevy Chase films, uh, or dive into the original books. Uh, after all, they say sequels are like a shower. Myself hire a sandwich to. Uh, mm, but uh, sometimes you just have to go back to the classics if the new one doesn't cut it. But that said, thanks for watching, and until next time.